All right, we are live. Half Dead Musings Podcast, number 11. It's been a while. We took a break. I was having some bad tendinitis in my arm, and it was taking a long time to heal because I was just doing so much work and stuff. But I'm happy to be back with the podcast, and... uh, yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff to talk about tonight, but also I'm working, I'm going to be putting out a crazy amount of videos over the next year. I'm already working on this new one about the Ukraine-Russia situation and taking a ton of the most wild war footage uh, excerpts and stuff that are, that are out there, and I'm putting it all together and having like a philosophical twist on it. So, yeah, I've been, I already have all the stuff that, like, I'm about to put together to make this little mini documentary type of thing. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And we have a lot of cool stuff to talk about tonight. So, yeah, Marco, you got some topics to bring up, right? Hey, yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> you got a back massager going on him. <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell anyone. Well, you were looking like you were just like had your eyes closed with your mouth open for some oh, reason. I was it's enjoying a, it. It just looked like a weird way. <laughs> it just looked uh, like <laughs> it feels really fucking good. Yeah, that's uh, good. <laughs> thank so, you. I'm glad oh yeah, happy, and the other uh, real quick, the other big news before we jump in actually is Donald Trump has just announced he's running for president again. And big fucking whoop. <laughs> and the other thing is, uh, so there's this controversy over this missile, probably Russian. They were saying it hit, um, looks like what uh, apartment complex in Poland. And uh, so everybody's thinking, oh, this might set off this Article Five, which says any member. I of think NATO it actually uh, it attacked um, some kind of agricultural facility. Well, it sure looks like an apartment. I saw the building when it got hit, but maybe it is. Uh, but okay, and right before I went on this, I, I was listening to the Tim uh, Tim Pool podcast, and B- Biden himself said it probably wasn't a Russian missile, and uh, there was another source that said it probably wasn't. It could have been uh, just a mix-up, because uh, but though it, it was weird timing, because Russia just did over uh, 100 uh, missile strikes or rocket strikes or whatever it was over like the past like hours right before this happened. And so this killed two people in Poland, and there's a lot of people panicking, thinking World War Three. But I don't know. It, I hope it doesn't escalate, but we shall see. Is there a no. question in that? No. <laughs> you could chime in if you want, or just jump into whatever you want to talk about. Um, I don't think it's going to lead to World War Three. Um, I think it is one of Russia's missiles. Um, I think that. It probably wasn't intentional because that would be stupid and yeah. it's not worth it for them. I agree. Just to hit some little target in Poland and uh, that means nothing strategically. It would. It's literally just stirring the hornet's nest uh, just for the sake of it. It has no benefit for them. So it doesn't really make it sense. Also 50 miles, 50 miles from the border into the Polish side. So it was a little bit yeah. more than a minor misshoot. It seems like if it was 50 whole miles, I don't know. Well, you got to put it into context because what do you think the, the accuracy is of the weapons that uh, they use? Do you know the specs? No, but I I was going to say... Well, if you don't, then you can't really say if uh, it seems normal or not. Well, so if you look at the, the missile miles. launcher system they use, how far away are they hitting their targets from? Do you know it that? It depends. The cruise missiles, I don't know if it was a cruise missile, that was about 1,450 miles maximum range, and it could be shot from well, That's the quite a long ways. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> know if it was cruise missiles or which. But, I think hmm. it could easily be 100 miles off if you're using... You know, corrupt, corruptly funded military technology because uh, you're in fucking Russia. Yeah. So that's a possibility. True. But, um, the, uh... And, uh, yeah, but uh, they're just going to do, uh, there's two articles, right? Article 4 and Article 5. One of them is um, some kind of consultation thing. The other one is to, to treat... Uh, every um, attack on any one person is an attack on everyone. They're not really leaning into that one so far yet. Yeah, that's number five, um, I believe. This is probably will result in more... Oh, does that make me my voice shake? Yeah. (laughs) I am your father. (laughs) Uh, They'll probably send more aid to Ukraine. 
Um, and, um, and I think Poland should have a, a bigger voice because they are next. They're right there. Yeah. If uh, Ukraine loses, then uh, Russia, they're next, according to Russia, uh, uh, by what it looks spe- like. Speaking so. of the Russian equipment, it is way less advanced than the U.S. stuff. Like one of the videos I was going to include in the upcoming uh, little mini uh, documentary video. Sadly, is, sadly so. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, maybe a, it's a good thing, though. An air <laughs> defense system okay. shoot, goes shooting up into the air, like shoots some like rocket or whatever. Then the thing immediately does a 180 and comes back and destroys itself it's on camera too and it's just yeah. like, it, it's it, basically it, like a, a meme like fail video on the internet yeah. now and it's just a real live russian rocket launch during oh, you saw it? time yeah nah, yeah yeah i didn't know yeah it was the first time i seen it yesterday and uh what else oh what what's the possibility of Zelensky and the ukrainians actually pulling a false flag like this if they were the ones who fired off a missile at the same time as Russia fired them all off because Zelensky wants the West to be 100% all in on this war to have his back because the stakes are so high for Ukraine and but the the rest of the West is like trying to stay away from it a little bit because they don't want to be getting too close to the nuclear war and so who is who is coming up with this idea well, I'm just looking at the history. Where did you hear this from? Tim Pool? No, no. I just was thinking about it ooh, myself ooh. Uh, because I know, I know the history. You look at the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Uh, it is, oh, it's admitted. This is your brand of conspiracy theory. Well, it's just a realistic thinking because it's a fact now that the U.S. got into the Vietnam War. Uh, because of the Gulf of Tonkin incident. And then now, years later, it's admitted that we never got hit. There was no ship that got attacked during the Gulf of Tonkin incident. It was just propaganda used to uh, get the war drums going in order to you know, send our troops over there and get, get involved. And so, I'm not familiar with that off the top of my head. But I'll say about uh, that situation you're, you're uh, bringing up as a hypothetical is... Um, is the cost is so um, great, uh, the risk is so great. If it uh, it was found out that they had done it, yeah. If uh, the truth came to light, and it's uh, easier for the truth to come to light, then uh, it's harder to keep that secret than many would think. Yeah, could and be. Uh, if it did, then they would lose all support, which would kill them. And I don't think it's worth it for them to do that now because uh they're winning yeah all they have to do is keep doing what they're doing Ooh. and they they're gonna win at this point i mean it looks good i, I don't know they got, they got a solid strategy ahead of them i don't know if uh have you looked at like any of their uh like the maps of the area and like people talking about like thinking about what their next strategies are going to be uh on the russian side or ukraine side because uh, Russia just started digging some trenches in Crimea. Uh, so they're thinking maybe there's a chance this Ukrainian offensive can go all the way to Crimea, uh, which they've controlled since 2014. And so that's... Absolutely, pre- I think yeah. it will. But I, ah, I don't think... That's scary. Because um, that's where he but, might nu- use nukes. Um, Crimea... Uh, he could use nukes whenever he wants. Like, we'll all die. What's the difference? <laughs> Um, the, uh, the thing ones. with Crimea is that uh, they have a good chance to be cut off because yeah, uh, the main bridge that supplies them um, that's uh, absolutely needed full f- uh, fuel, food, ammo, stuff that they can't continue to fight without and can't even continue to live there without. So and their, their uh, water source was, too. Their water source is being threatened now too. I believe. I don't know if they're fully right. cut off right now because that comes yeah, from through which, Ukraine, the river. Yes, yes, and they need that to grow their crops. Uh, without that, they're not self-sufficient even with that. But without that, they would like instant famine, basically. Um, and uh, so, it would be better if there was a map. But basically, like, think of like. That's taking it out of the frame a little bit. Think of like uh, this is kind of Ukraine. The part that goes down is Crimea. And the head <laughs> yeah. goes back into Ukraine. And this little handle there is uh, is what leads into Russian-controlled territory right now. Right now, this is this thing con- uh, uh, represents Russian-controlled territory. And Ukraine is all this area right here, basically right here. 
So they have a chance you, yep. to go down here, cut cut through here. Russians will be stuck on this side. And then the, the Russians and Crimea would be totally cut off from their supply line, which has to go through this narrow area right now. Yeah, they, they, and this narrow area is already see, um, plagued with um, sabotage. Sabot talking about Kherson, that area with the big city that the uh, Ukrainians just retook, because the Russians just recently uh, it's to the east took of off. Kherson. So uh, okay, Crimea past that is river. Like the, to the south of Kherson, and the, the the river is huge. It's like the Mississippi. Yeah, and it cuts off, like divides part of the country off. And uh, so south of Kherson is like Crimea, southeast is like um, like uh, more land, and then it hits the, the, the sea there. And then to the east, you got Mariupol, and you've yeah, got... Yeah, place um, got devastated. The place is like yeah, so messed up. It's crazy. Which, uh, which has become the, um, the main uh, beachhead for Russian forces um, as far as bringing in supplies from the water. So that could be an area where they attack with their ground forces. Basically, Ukraine is going to start a huge ground force offensive that's going to start more in the northwest and move through the territory they control over all these inland bridges far away and safe, spread out. They're going to mass up, and they could drive south, and uh, Crimea is vulnerable and weak at this point. So they're going to capitalize on that. Well, and uh, either they're they're going to hem them in, and and uh, Russia's going to get their asses kicked, or Russia does a huge retreat right now and pulls out of Crimea, and that's well, unprecedented. What you, so. see the thing is, Russian winter always buys them time, and in the past couple hundred years, looking even back in Napoleon times, World War One and World War Two, Russia always starts really slow and disorganized and and really weak for some reason. And then they that always would be bad if Crimea is cut off during the winter. It'll be even harder to resupply them. Well, yeah, but then well, well, all I'm saying is that. Winter is always the greatest ally to the Russian people. Every time they're on their heels, winter comes and then gives them a lot of time to regroup and reorganize, get new troops. And they already announced right now they're making it mandatory in Russia for uh, all, I believe, high school students or maybe as junior or seniors. Uh, to get it was I think 45 hours of uh, military training within the schools and there's a lot of talk these got these troops are going to be ready a whole wave of them by uh, next spring about March or so and so I think Russia is going to come back stronger than ever they uh, they didn't even consider this to be a war they've been saying it's a special military action and so, I think that's optimistic. I think they're going to come dreaming. back strong. I think they're going to come back real strong. I, I think they're dreaming, and you're dreaming that they're going to come back strong at this point. That they're going to pull out some like the, the like the they turn on all of a sudden, and they're serious now. I think I don't what, think that's going to happen. I mean, the the sheer numbers are. They're not going to be able to hit everybody with those high Mars uh, from a range. They're going to have such sheer numbers pouring through. And uh, also, speaking of the high Mars, for people who yeah. don't understand what those are, they're the they don't even have the sheer numbers. The uh, high mobility artillery systems, basically that the U.S. provided with Ukraine to Ukraine. And I just saw today Russia got their hands on uh, parts of the device. Somebody smuggled it in, and they're actually studying exactly how to uh, build the engineers in oh, Russia. The Russians? Yeah, they have the high Mars. <laughs> they're they're uh, they, they're make pictures of that. The high Mars, my friend. <laughs> yeah, so it's fascinating. I, I, you know, is run on vodka. Yeah. <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> So, but yeah, you know, it's fascinating times, but I, I'm calling it now. Russia, I believe, is going to be coming back real strong. And I think... Uh, I'll bet you five they, bucks. They make... All right, I guess I'll take that. <laughs> they'll, they'll declare full-on war. In a, in a, uh, let's just say, give it the first half of next Who year. Who do you think wins? Who do you think wins summer? the war? So you're choosing Russia then. I, uh, I bet five bucks Ukraine wins. Because the hard thing is... Oh, about digital, shake on, digital I, I shake on it. I think that realistically, I don't think. Uh, I think my hand. My hand's right here. <laughs> well, no, Take my I, hand. But the thing is, there's not. There's, my hand, Brian. Take it. There you go. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> oh wait, that, that looks wrong. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> but, um, I I think there's gonna have to be a negotiation, and both sides are gonna have to give up something they don't want to give up, and and. Uh, 
That's a good compromise. So, yeah, I think it's not going to be an all-out domination military victory. Split the baby in two, as they say. Yeah, but the other thing is, mm -hmm. uh, that's yeah. uh, I listened to a guy who was in the CIA before, and he's pointing out how more so than ever, war these days is economic. And so that's why Russia is doing their best to take out all the electrical uh, grid and other utilities in Ukraine right now. They just these hundred missiles that uh, just take out uh, infrastructure is nothing new. But also they're bleeding uh, Europe, who's going to need the energy uh, really badly for winter. In England, they're talking about just shutting down restaurants during the winter because the energy costs are going to be so high that they, it's not even worth keep, like, opening for, like, you can't even make money. What's the point of even opening? So <laughs> I want to answer that seriously, winter. but I, I also want to make a joke about how, don't worry, the 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 royal family in in the UK will step in and they'll they'll cough up all the money. You know the guy who just became the new prime minister is even richer than the royals. I don't know his name. I just heard that when he because their the one stepped down. There was a woman they had yeah. stepped down, and then is this, he like a billionaire that like bought it the position? Uh, I don't really know too much about him. I just heard I was shocked to they hear he's richer a than lot the royals. Of money. I was just uh, hearing about this the other day on the John Oliver show. Uh, they get these like duchies or whatever, duchy of Wales, duchy of York. Once you get this position, it comes with a real estate portfolio Sounds great. of uh, various income producing properties, which total in the billions of dollars. Jeez. And they receive upwards of uh, what? Hundreds of millions of dollars a year, $300 million a year. Hmm. Not bad. It's not that's, bad. That's crazy. Like, and then, you know, it's interesting that Epstein, Prince guy, what was it, Prince Andrew, was it? <laughs> that Prince Epstein. Yeah. He got yeah. disgraced. and like He was, uh, yeah, he was like one of the most well-known guys for being with Epstein. Was he with him like every day? Like, um, <laughs> Prince Andrew. Not that I know of. It just He had the clear evidence with the pictures with the girl yeah. who went public accusing him of uh, rape, basically. And, yeah. It like, wasn't rape. I paid for it. Yeah, you know we really need to see the uh, Gislaine Maxwell's case. Like they had the Gislaine. <laughs> it, it sounds like Jesus a pro proper Christ, name. Man. That's her name, Maxwell. I, or is I it Gislaine? I think Gislaine sounds funnier. I don't think I think that's your name for her. <laughs> the, I think it's Gislaine, but I was just say Gislaine is the, the funnier. If you uh, think way, about it, she she Epstein built Lane. the Gislaine. You know, <laughs> it's a pathway for jizz. It's the highway <laughs> that the jizz travels on to reach his target of underage girls. <laughs> nice, uh, but. We have the the client list, and the governments of the world are really trying their best to make it so we'll never see the names on this client list, and they're not going after any of these names on the client list. They're trying because there's too many high-ranking people. Probably, oh yeah, Bill Clinton, all little, really rich people. Likely. Kevin Spacey was there. Also, there was a lot of people who were over there, but uh, oh, yeah, remember, eh, I know. And the and the big and the and the greater span of things, you know, how really bad was it? They fucked some underage girls, you know. You I know, don't know. They Who knows what else? You know, we've had what up. slavery. We've had like torture. We've had we have bombing of civilians right now. It's like, eh, you know. Yeah, but it's still messed up. It's like all, 20 young girls, they got I, paid good. I don't even know if all the details, because, like, you got the, that one crazy witch lady throwing pig's <laughs> blood all over the place, making that crazy artwork, that occultist weird stuff, and there's always been rumors of, like, even darker stuff happening. I wonder if we are, <laughs> like, you know, like some torture rituals, or who knows? Like, these people are nuts. <laughs> so... I like the way this is going today. <laughs> Funny conversation so far. But, uh, all right. Uh, I was going to talk about Bitcoin, too. We got to talk about that. I remember we, we were trying to predict when last time it dipped below 20,000, we were, made a podcast, and then I was saying it would go up shortly after, and then it did, and it was up, uh, I mean, over the 20,000 mark again shortly after, and it did. Then it was. it's been kind of 
um, going up and down along that mark. But now it's a little bit more worrisome being under the 20,000. Actually, but, it was holding at 20,000 for like long time. three, four weeks while the, uh, the Dow and S&P uh, took a nosedive. I was like, what the hell? Bitcoin is holding up better than the U.S. market right now. This, yeah, that's crazy. What I was saying about Elliott Wave, which I studied a lot, that... Maybe it's because that guy I'm was saying. trying to keep it alive because he knew that if there was a drop and there's a bank run, he's leveraged to the tits <clears> and <throat> he was going to go bankrupt. The uh, uh, Sam, FTX uh, guy? Elliot, no. free guy. No, no, I was talking about just the, guy. Tech, the technical analysis uh, style, the... Elliott wave theory is what I was talking about. And the, the based on oh, well, the, the, the previous... Well, the reason that it's down right now is actually because of a guy named Elliot. Yeah, the FTX guy who... Yeah. Uh, yeah, where... And then Binance yeah. said they were going to buy him out. They're huge. FTX is huge. And they're not mm -hmm. doing it now. They, uh, they over leveraged to the tits. They're going bankrupt. And they had a bank run. And uh, people uh, losing a lot of money. And, uh, yeah, it's hitting all the cryptos down because of that right now, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it really doesn't have anything to do with Bitcoin itself. It's just an over-leveraged company. If they were a bank, we would have bailed them out. <laughs> Probably. But they're not. But they're not uh, they, didn't, they didn't get to the bank status yet. You know? Yeah. They're not there yet. <laughs> you know, they're basically like, you know... Lehman Brothers or like Stearns, you know? Yeah, that's sad. Too big to fail. Blech. Yeah, it shouldn't be a thing, right? Yeah, I mean, if you screw up, you should fail. <laughs> or uh, there should be accountability. Yeah, exactly. So, can't, so it doesn't seem like an okay thing. True. Yeah, like Ron Paul was say like really strongly against it, and a lot of other people who I respect were so strongly against that. I think I was in college at the I time. I know a lot. I respect a lot of people who are against that, who are nothing like Ron Paul that a lot of people that you respect. So <laughs> I'm just saying there are a lot of people who believe in that. Yeah. So you can't, uh, there's no like one group of people who stands behind. Oh, I get behind, it. Yeah, I wasn't you know, trying to like imply that. that. I'm just saying, yeah, like... I'm not saying you were, but just yeah. to like keep oh. a, provide open-minded perspective. Yeah, just Because so people... I know on a lot of political stuff, we really don't agree very much. You have, like, yeah. a totally different, like, set of facts I'm that you like. like. moderate left, oh. for the most part, and libertarian. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't see you as moderate left. Well, that's why it's important we should break down everything. And see, we seem to get our information sources from different sources. And then it really, I just try to get my news from as wide of a range as possible because. Your sources yeah. are horrible, in my opinion. Tim I think Poole you don't get any useful information out of those people. Tim Pool is one of the best. He goes with just straight facts. I think that guy is about 90% garbage. He had ten well, percent. That's why you got to watch his uh, watch a podcast. He has people on. He's willing to debate anybody. I don't, I don't, He's respectful. Yeah, sure. Okay. The great, only, the only thing there's I, more to it than that. I agree with you that he can like try to just get clicks or whatever by being controversial on Twitter. That's like the worst thing about him. But if you actually well, keep yeah. an open mind and listen to his arguments, he even all he has libertarians Total sellout, on. Man. He has conservatives on, libertarians on, lefties on. He'll have anybody on. They have good conversations, and then they go back and forth on the points, and they iron it out and see, you know, and sometimes there'll be disagreements, like especially on the abortion issue. That guy's basically like a Ben Shapiro to me, and Ben Shapiro is irredeemable in my He's mind. He's like, Shapiro's like way far right, I would say, compared to Poole. Because Poole, like, he's a, basically in the 90s, he would be a, a liberal, and... Now he's considered to be on the right, even though his positions haven't changed really. Okay. And so like, Ben Shapiro is too far to the right for you. Well, probably because, well, no, that's I not like, a certain. Because I yeah, don't know sure. everything that he believes, but like as far as like abortion, like I'm fine with having abortion to a, a degree. It just it, why would you want to make a fetus suffer though? Is what I'm saying. Like once the fetus could feel pain, I think that should be the cutoff on abortion. Like if it's old enough <clears throat> to. Uh, hey, congratulations! You're where most of the voting public is. Yeah. Which is not on the Republican side. Well, yeah, th that's what Ben Shapiro is probably a hardliner right there. With same with Tim Pool. Tim Pool's okay with abortion up to a certain degree, so yeah, 
And I, I, I'm that's pro uh, gun. not even the biggest, uh, uh, you know, thing for me. That's more of a thing for women. I mean, I, yeah, it affects everyone, obviously. I'm pro gun. It's just though, a basic too. freedom. And Tim Pool's pro gun because it's like more libertarian to be pro gun and pro I don't know that I'm as pro gun as uh, as uh, you might be or some other people might be like. Uh, and I like the idea, like the specs, shooting, marksmanship. I'm all into all that stuff. You know, if I had a gun, I would do all that stuff. I, if I had money, I wanted to blow on it. I'm getting one that. soon. I'm getting one real soon. My Void card's oh, coming soon. Yeah. Your chance of dying from gunshots just went up, uh, going up exponentially, as well as your the family chance of members. Surviving. But hopefully you're responsible with it. The chance of uh, <laughs> surviving that's, a that's nuclear the, war it just went up. <laughs> yeah. The statistics show that, uh, you know, if you have a gun, uh, you're more likely to get shot. You're more likely to uh, if someone else close to you is, is to die. But well, um, in the South, though, I think, yeah, I, I don't case. know. I mean, like, there's 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 things to like about countries that that don't have guns that seem to have happier people uh, uh, that report their happiness than here. And they seem to be doing just fine with less deaths especially less police violence like, yeah you know, they have people with like clubs like and uh you know northern, never shoot anyone like northern europe countries like norway and uh what other ones yeah. right there sweden i believe they have like very high happiness levels and they call they're like frequently right. called the happiest place on earth like so yeah, yeah there's they don't good have guns. downsides but I just think that having an armed population is very Actually, important. they have a very different prison system, too. It's fascinating if you look into uh, their... Uh, they don't even have, like, life imprisonment isn't an option for anyone. Uh, so they take it to an extreme more than a lot of people would. But hmm. the people who come out of their prisons actually re-enter society and, like, get good jobs and get good wages with skills. I think They're I, not like branded as a felon forever and can never get hired. Yeah, I like that better. I think I just and heard everyone a story. Can vote. They all can vote. They can vote from prison. They like prison. Um, I've heard some people try to go back to prison after leaving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I just heard that recently. I don't it. Yeah, I forget yeah. which country that was. But yeah, I'm also like as far as my biggest lefty position, I guess you I would say is uh, ending this drug war, legalizing mushrooms, legalizing Colorado, uh, Colorado just did that. Good. Like take as long the more drugs that was that, a, are, that was a ballot uh, um, initiative uh, uh, yeah, proposition. Yeah. So from the voters direct direct Good. direct democracy. Good. Like See, I, the more drugs that are out of the hands of the drug cartels, the less gang violence there will be. Because the only reason why they're fighting over territory right now is because there's so much profits to be made because the drugs being illegal. Also, when junkies, like I did like three or four research papers on uh, the drug war and how it's failed. And so say if you have legalized drugs and somebody oh, knows yeah, the obvious. Yeah, they want to do drugs, and if they want to harm their own life, well, then they can do that. Maybe you set up some facilities where they could do that, and that way it minimizes the harm on society to that drug user himself and maybe his immediate family. Yeah, but if but, we if we open up all drugs, how many people do you think would be like hooked on opium? Well, yeah, I was halfway through that point. How many people would just be like hopeless drug addicts if we I, open it up? There's the stats show that it goes lower. But hang on, let me finish that point. It was. Uh, I don't think it would be lower. The point is, but these because drugs are expensive and Not unavailable to, these, bad, to but, these junkies yeah. who can't uh, afford it they start robbing random cars they start stealing from civilians if they can't afford the drugs because they can't ho uh, cope with the withdrawals so by per by uh, cheaper having, just to give it to them yeah by having safer safer and cheaper drugs like by having drugs like illegal that just distributes the negative effects yeah, of they're drugs gonna get it no to, matter what yeah to they'll the wider steal, society they'll, so they'll look murder. in chicago you got the the gangs all over fighting for the territory because it's drug controlled territory uh so these, i'm not up on my chicago gang uh politics oh uh, in uh, most cities that. too uh what do, what do they got what are they called Oh, like you know? there's there's like I was looking at a map somebody made. There was like uh, over 20 of them. There's like a few di like I guess there's some alliances between certain individually named ones. And so it's, it was kind of hard to follow. I don't know if there's like two or three big names still, but Gangster Disciples is one of them that has been around a long time. Uh, 
yeah, I'm trying to, I can't remember the other names right now, but yeah, it's a fascinating map. It shows once you get to the far northwest side where we grew up, there's no gang that controls that territory. And like, you know who I still like from gangster suburbs. rap from our who? gangster rap music days? Tupac. <laughs> Yeah, he's good. I, I, he's Tupac's great. my favorite. Yeah, he was great. And Notorious B.I.G. was solid. Uh, I like him better than B.I.G., better than Dre by far. Snoop Dogg Snoop is Dogg decent. Is good too. Yeah, Snoop They're Dogg's both, pretty decent. Yeah, and I got to give him uh, credit for staying power alone, you know, the fact that he's still going. Yeah, same yeah. with Dr. Dre. He was the richest of them all because he made his Dre Beats headphones and then sold them to, what, Apple, was it? Those suck. Oh, really? <laughs> all the Beats shit sucks. I was looking into it's getting some. pure soon. marketing fluff. They yep. are totally garbage technology-wise. But the part that matters, unless you, your brain can fool you into thinking this is great and you never hear anything else and you're happy <laughs> with it, you know, congrats to you and your la-la land, you know, be happy, be, you know, ignorance is bliss. But they're actually shit. They, uh, they added in weights into some of the headsets to make them feel heavier <laughs> for perceived quality, which just makes your fucking neck hurt. It reminds <laughs> and, me. Uh, they had undersized drivers, uh, you know, low-gauge wiring, like... They sound like shit. Yeah, never. Like Sennheiser, look at the 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 I love Sennheiser. headphones I got on right now. These I love people them. are actually good. Sennheiser. Yeah, I, I love Sennheiser. Yeah, uh, even these these I have like twenty year old pair of Sennheisers that I still have. Yeah, these are, are like twenty great. years old. These yeah. are the HD five five eight. forever. It, this is light as a feather. That's why they went out of business. They because <laughs> the stuff their stuff was too good. They lasted forever. Yeah. Sennheiser went out of business. Damn. They sold to a um, medical hearing device company. So they still exist now, right? Under, Under but the they same just name, make but... products. They don't do commercial um, consumer headphones, audio gear anymore. Oh, wow. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. yeah. I'm in the market. I'm about to get a nice pair of headphones for Black Friday deals. I'm going to be on the hunt. So What kind? Uh, wired or wireless? Probably wireless. Uh, just something that has got great noise cancellation. I was looking at some uh, Sony. Do you need something. to be able to take it out? Uh, I'm, not, yep. not, I'm not too picky. It's just the Sony 1000s. I think they're like a three, something like this. 1000 uh, A's. You or should get like that. The, the same thing I recommended to. Uh, to uh, a Rovian not long ago yeah, and uh, he saved a bunch of money by um What's you the buy name? the uh the like new version on Amazon actually it was like 60 percent yeah refurbished I bought stuff from there but in the past never had a problem and it's better than brand new yeah you, you he was like yeah he was like I he got his like I couldn't tell that it wasn't brand new it's I love it it's perfect and he saved yeah. a bunch of money Good. um which what was the name brand or a model or whatever yeah, it was a Sony WH, but I think it was a newer model. You know, it's like a 2000 WH 2000, 3000, 4000, whatever they're they're up to. Yeah, uh, you okay. gotta look at that. I'll, it down. I'll um, save it for later. I'll... Ask uh, Ask a Rovian what it was. Yeah, you could just look at his headphones and they'll tell you what the model was. Because cool. uh, yeah, no I don't worry. have an easy way to look it up. Well, it's Black like, Friday uh, deals coming right now, yeah. so I figure I'm just gonna hop on something that's super highly reviewed. If I get 50 percent off of a new thing, like already there's a really good one that was for sale like over use, 50% uh, off make sure you use camel 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 you got that extension no but I got slick deal still uh, yeah, okay, but Camel 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 is like a companion to Slick Deals. So, uh, Slick Deals, yeah, people will look it up for you in the comments if you read through them. And the, a lot of times it'll let you know if something's actually a good deal or not. But with Camel Camel Camel, it looks up, it tracks the price for you over the last six months, year, whatever. So, you'll know if it's actually a good price or if they're just scamming you with the same price for Black Friday. Oh, you yeah, know, that's right. They'll just, They'll just say it's a higher price, and they'll say it's half off. There's nothing that stops them from doing that. It happens all the time. Uh, also, Google has a tool in the Google Shopping, I believe, a price tracker over time. So it does something similar if you just check it manually. Uh, I was looking at that. I saw that Camel, Camel, Camel thing on okay, and Honey. Works. The, uh, the Honey app, too, is supposed to be similar, I believe. It was on the I think news. they harvest your data, though. Hmm. Cool. Well, like I'm sure I'll find something good. Yeah. And yeah, I uh, I would. It's expensive, but uh, I've been saving, uh, and uh, I would love a new TV. And I could sell my old TV, uh, you know, to make up some of the difference. But which uh, TV are you looking at? 
at the LG OLED C2, uh, the 77 inch, probably. Nice. I'm not uh, a fan of LG. I would top like, of the line. I love yeah, Samsung. Yeah, but their OLEDs are the best. Samsungs are not the best in quality. Uh, uh, if it's you're reliability. Nah, not even reliability. Well, man. get this. I, we got an LG where I live here. Right. The, the thing failed. We had to get rid of it. My grandparents, uh, the other side of the family uh, over there, they got an LG that randomly shuts off and resets itself, and then we can't find a solution for it. And it seems to yeah. go many hours where it's okay, and then it just resets itself in the middle of like critical sports moments or, or <laughs> like in the middle of TV shows. Like It's a junk. It's the badge of the reaction to that. You say that. Yeah. Uh, like it's it's garbage with yeah, Samsung. Bad this it modern... could be their lower end stuff. The, the, the... I wonder. Excuse me. Samsung is so good. I ha the one that I'm using now is like 15 years old monitor. It still looks great. I never had a single problem with it. I was using it in heat waves with no air conditioning. Oh, like yeah. I've had a lot of Samsung stuff because uh, and Jerry my phone. Yeah. He won a lot of uh, TVs from Samsung because he sold Samsung copiers. So uh, yeah, yeah, I had I had Samsung laptops, uh, never had a problem. Samsung TVs, My but phones, um, never a problem. Oh yeah, I got the Galaxy phone. Yeah, Me too. I, no, I do. I love them. They're a great brand. Yeah. But um, just quality wise, uh, their best TV is pretty good, but it doesn't do the stuff that an OLED does, and their OLED is basically the same thing as lg it's just uh, more expensive because um i think the panels might still be lg i don't know if they're making their own yet but they might I still see. be getting it from lg but basically lg is good for oled because they invented it and they're just still ahead of everyone else on it huh. but for non-oled yeah no i would not buy a non-oled lg tv they're suck <laughs> they're usually like low contrast like no local dimming is it is, um, that, is that an american company lg yeah, right. Chinese, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, is it? I never, oh, yeah. Never paid it's attention. It's some weird ass. It's like Laozhu Gengzhuo. You know? <laughs> or, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. I made that up. Sorry. It's funny, though. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, it. I think it's called, like, Life's Good. Actually, yeah. So, so, like, one of those retarded translations that Chinese people think sounds good in English. Oh, you know? yeah. I think it's something like that. Okay, now I got to look it up. Uh, yeah, look it up the, real quick. Like, it reminds me of being in company, Asia. Also. <laughs> I, I would see these signs that says "Mind your head, mind your head" is the translation to English. It's like well, you, that way you don't hit your head on. That's some not terrible. Actually, it's actually that's kind of funny. Bad. It's not horrible. No. I, I thought it was funny. Yeah, that's. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you read more, you'll see that a lot. Um, let's see. In 1995, the inexpensive, poor quality Korean appliance. Oh wait, it's Korean. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, wait a second. Okay. That's, that's crazy because you got it's Samsung formerly way better, in my thing. Lucky Gold Star from 1983 mm. to 1995. Yeah, Lucky Gold Star. Okay. Well, here is a perfect example of. Uh, Make sure you look shit up because people just make shit up like us, <laughs> <laughs> like me. But at least I'll check myself on stuff that I uh, yeah. Feel if you're like not I sure, up. yeah. yeah. Like I kind of uh, just want to do it to be entertaining, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a funny one. But yeah. just like so, this is a, so it's better than the uh, I think. So that's Korean is like yeah, Samsung. They're higher quality than a lot of Chinese stuff. Yeah. And like same thing with like Hyundai, Kia. Now they're reliable cars. Oh, they're good stuff. Speaking of this Asia and the Taiwan situation, I think it's very good that tensions have uh, simmered down. Uh, Biden and uh, Xi of China w were like shaking hands, and uh, Biden is confident they're not trying to make some invasion on Taiwan now. It seems like everybody's taking a step backwards. So uh, that's really good. Would have been insane for them to try. Oh, and then what I don't like is we have like people on both sides of the aisle in the U.S. Uh, in this case, there was a congressman, a Republican, that was saying we need to arm Taiwan now as much as possible. They already uh, are armed. They're armed like, to the teeth already, man. I don't know oh, like what they got completely, but I've seen some videos of oh, well, these uh, senators pretty, are so fucking stupid. Yeah, like saying we have to learn from the Ukraine situation. But look, it, they Especially were so the Republican senators. Well, a lot of the left is, like, pro-war these days compared to how they used to be. They used to be free speech, uh, anti-war. Hey, I'm all and... about, uh, I'm not pro-war, but I think uh, you do have to help defend Ukraine to prevent more war because it's only going to get worse if you don't. 
Well, I don't think they would attack a NATO country, so that would have been the uh, boundary, I would say. They wouldn't. And Finland. I think they would. Now, Finland has joined. They uh, just did. That's most likely an accident. It still could be a false flag. <laughs> You're talking it down. You were talking it up no, at the beginning, I was, and I had you to must talk have, it down. You, you must have missed it. I, I just said in the beginning, <laughs> Biden said, said that it likely was not the Russians, uh, according yeah. to what he said, and there was another top official. Uh, so I was th- talking about it because it was something you were big saying, that just but what if this is a false flag that was caused exactly. by— Exactly. Uh, That's what yeah. I'm saying. It could be. Like—, like the, uh, the sorry, I'm pipeline. sorry, I'm sorry. That's talking it up in my mind. That's in my mind. That's talking it up. Well, also the pipeline thing. The, uh, the what was it? A natural gas pipeline. Ooh, the Russian the pipeline. Yeah, the yeah. Russian. It was, um, what was it? Fifty-two percent Russian owned, or something like that, or sixty percent, or something like that. And uh, so they're blaming the West. It happened more towards Europe and Western controlled waters. So, I mean, that would have taken some amazing stealth if it was the Russians to go in and blow up their own pipeline in, in the Western water territory Who during knows? like borderline war time. So, I think it probably was not Russia, but there's a chance it was Russia and it's false flag type of thing. Like for those who don't know what a false flag is, it's basically one country wants to accomplish something. So then they create the problem, which enables them to gain public support to go and get whatever it is they wanted in the first place. So I believe that the term was popularized because of uh, things the CIA did where uh, they would plant some um, agitators in protests that would purposefully um, start violence. And thus, uh, the crowd could be um, broken up uh, through police force. Actually, it actually started on ships, I believe, where they would have... That's happened. Yeah. Oh, they have been doing that. Yeah, for sure. Like, even in the United States, there's been... Uh, agent provocateurs, they call them, where they go inside a protest. Is this like some, but the actual true roots are like ancient naval vessels who are like, yeah. kind of have a different flag and then they attack you. It was, you, yeah, right? not ancient, when, uh, It's like, uh, hey, no, your flag said you were yeah. that guy. That's yeah. the only way we can identify you. Wait, <laughs> you pirates? No! <laughs> I think it did have Fuck a ship. Baby, we're gonna fucking kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, maybe I was getting mixed up because of the flagship of a of uh like the russian flagship ship even though the flags are like, uh, it was small. sounding good though yeah it was sounding i, I good. may have gotten the mixed up there ship? for a second yeah the jumping no, i was ship thinking it was the flag, the flagship it, we should look I it like up like the We're, navy line we should uh, well, look that, that one, one up. up i looked up the last one all right well here you talk man. i got my phone right here you got to talk as i'm talking on my phone then so i don't have to talk uh, I'll, i guess we'll do uh, a, a, kumbaya, a kumbaya moment as i talk fine i'll talk i'll talk what am i going to talk about oh, i got some stuff here that uh i thought about uh, bringing up um you know what's cool everyone handbrake is cool it's encoding software that you could use to make video files smaller yeah, doesn't that sound interesting? <laughs> I right. do, because I have a shitload of movie files, so I'm interested in them being as small as possible while remaining, while retaining the most quality as possible um, I got the so that I can enjoy them in my huge Plex library. I need, if I get uh, unlimited internet, which I don't have right now, I'm going to set up a Plex server for my friends and family. I'm People your, who do this do that a lot. Your phone, so you I, mean? Not on my phone. Service. Unlimited internet? What are you talking about? You don't have it now? No, I don't. I got a data cap. Do you have unlimited data? Yeah, we got unlimited. For what, what yeah, service we're do you fucked got? Out here, man. What Fucking is your service? Cox. Cox. <laughs> Sounds like a pro- appropriate name for this occasion. Then. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I it's, can't believe uh, you have for a... the mid tier, like high tier. It's a hundred. Um, Crazy. A hundred and five a month. Uh, with only like 1.25 terabytes a month. Yeah, not unlimited. Unlimited is an extra 50 bucks a month. And then the top, the gigabit is like an extra Crazy. 30 bucks a month. Oh, here's yeah, the false it flag sucks, thing. man. I'll read this. But if I had that, I got a server with thousands of like movies, TV shows that I would like share with like friends and family. Nice. Uh, here, the term false flag originated in the 16th century as an expression meaning an intentional misrepresentation of someone's allegiance. 
The term was famously used to describe a ruse in naval warfare whereby a vessel flew the flag of a neutral or enemy country in order to hide its true identity. So you were right. I guess it was, yeah. I was, thought I was getting mixed up, but cool. The 16th it. century. Nice. Smart, right? I mean, I would do that. Fuck yeah. It and you just got to have the extra flags. Yeah, if you're like, if you got to go around like enemy, you know, like forces, you're just uh, trying to move supplies, you know, you got to yeah. get through safely. Maybe they'll let you through if you just fly the right flag. Oh, yeah. Also, the uh, Russian flagship that where I was talking about uh, before. If they come board you, though, <laughs> then it's like time to clench your buttholes. <laughs> Well, the, <laughs> see, not before the flag, when, shit gets real. when there was multiple ships in, uh, what do they call them, convoys or whatever, uh, the flagship would be the one that was giving Lotillas? the orders. Of, uh, they would be giving the orders to the other ships by raising certain flags uh, up and down, yeah, whatever the certain signals. orders were. Yeah. And so sometimes it would get foggy. You know, some and stuff. people actually learn that for fun nowadays. So it has no use whatsoever. <laughs> they should put a Dewey Decimal System library on those ships too. Just go mm-hmm. live in the past. <laughs> I would love a boat with all the modern technology. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Self-sufficient yacht. Mm-hmm. It could be pretty comfortable on a ten million dollar yacht. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what we are. <laughs> Uh, so VR is pretty freaking awesome. Oh yeah, we gotta check out your video. Um, yeah, um, I put one uh, on my YouTube channel actually. Um, let me uh, share my screen really quick. So it's the best uh, VR helmet uh, around, huh? What's it called? Uh, it's called the HP Reverb G2. I thought you were gonna say HPV. It's like the second model. I was like HPV. <laughs> Not <dangerous>. quite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, this will give you an STD <laughs> if it's that good. You think you had sex with a dirty bitch. <laughs> it's got like porn VR in there. Yeah, there's definitely is porn VR. Um, there's also a lot of cool games though. Um, I'm uh, especially the ones that keep you active. Like uh, that's what I really like. Um, it's part of my workout now is this VR game. Um, it's great workout, fun. I used to like be like a slog, like, you know, it's hard to do cardio. It's like, uh, who loves cardio? <laughs> but uh, this, uh, now I actually do it and uh, it makes it fun. Nice. Um, and if I uh, share this ever correctly, hang on, let me uh, just try one of these options. I don't know exactly. I think this one will work. Yeah. Uh, Are you screen recording video. too? Are you recording on your end too? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, your there email's you showing up. So you can see that. You got music playing. Yeah, I do. Let me turn it off for this. All right, I'm going to mm-hmm. maximize your thing. I fucking love Saturday Night Fever and like, <laughs> the soundtrack from that movie. The Travolta was in there? That one? Yes. He is 23 years old in that. His fucking... You know, I like it how... great shape. Dance the shit <laughs> out uh, of uh, that role. You know what was fascinating? When they were making... Uh, uh, not the Tarantino movie. What the heck? Pulp Fiction. Uh, they were looking to cast that character. And uh, Travolta was looked at as a has-been, like, nobody at that point. And uh, Tarantino... Thought that I was that like, was hey, great... why, how come this guy's not working anymore? I yeah. love, he's great. I love him. I think he might have said that. I, I forget where I heard that. It might have been on the Joe Rogan podcast when he went on there or somewhere else. Let's see. Pro difficulty, part of workout routine. Uh, these are kind of in series, so I'll start with this one. This is like a low res version of what I see. You could see this, right? Yeah. You see the video full screen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just using the on screen recorder. It's like just built in. It's like 720p. You know, it's pretty low quality, but it's built into the uh, VR software. You don't have to do anything. You just hit a button 
and records like a five minute video for you. Uh, so it's pretty easy and handy. Um, and um, you'll just see like a lower res cause like the res of the VR headset itself is actually Way 4K high. per eye. Yeah, it's, oh. like the, it's the highest It's the highest one out of all the different models out there. Maybe the new um, Quest Meta, you know, one is better, but that one costs $1,500. This one's only wow. 400 bucks. Uh, What's your video like, uploaded at? 1080p or? Uh, this is only 720p source, so. Oh, it's okay. This recording feature for the first time while I play a little Dance Collider and Steam VR. Cool. Oh, you got a leaderboard too. You're competing against others. That's yes, that's, that's a helps. huge motivation for oh, me. Yeah. I'll tell you, I've been getting a. My goal is every difficulty, I get in the top ten uh, for every song. And I'm the top number one for a bunch of them now. Cool. There's like 30,000 people on the leaderboards. So right now I'm holding the, these two things right now. Oh, those like sticks? And yeah. I've seen yeah. people do and this. You get a you slash. See them? Yeah, you see them as I go up across my face. Uh, uh, I, I can't see, them see more. you. Yeah, no, it doesn't show me, but this is from my perspective. This is what oh, I see. Oh, then you, you, oh, you gotta for the green balls, you have to have, hold, use that uh, the green rod in your yeah. hand for the green ones only. Yeah, so I got like a, oh, so cool. I got like a little thing I'm holding, and it's like a, a round pad. The right side is green, the left side is purple, and basically these spheres will fly at you, and you gotta hit them with the right hand, and uh, they come in different, um, uh, you know, directions. Cool. They're there's like long trails of them. Sometimes there's stars you gotta hit with two hands. Sometimes they're groups. Sometimes they're switched up and they try to fake you out. And then there's like long trailing things. So basically, you gotta hit in the middle of that sphere. You get bonus points for accuracy Very cool. and for power, which is the speed that you hit it with. So oh, you hit wow. it fast, you hit it precisely, you get a higher score. And if you don't miss any of the whole song, you get it's a nice bonus. You probably won't get into the top 10 if you aren't able to do. Uh, at 100% accuracy. You can't miss any, basically. Dang. Very rarely. Um, so, so, I was uh, got a quick question. Um, yeah. Those things you're holding in your hands, did that come with that game in particular, or did that come with just the headset itself? Comes with the headsets, included uh. for 400 bucks. Um, you get uh, the two headsets and the, the uh, headset you, uh, I mean, the two um, handheld things. And the Ooh. headset you got, um, I'll show, I'll put on my, I'm going to do a review on that, my channel, actually, so you could look there. Yeah. Um, it comes with cameras built into it that look out to see where the thing you're holding is in your hand. That way it knows where to put it. It's camera tracking technology. Because some of the other stuff have like sensors you got to put around the room. You don't have to worry about that. It's all built into the headset. Jeez, cool. Uh, so I'll just continue this. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Now, it might not look like I'm moving a lot here. I'm moving a lot. <laughs> like, uh... Oh, it's, when it's just it those big me, lines. Yeah, I'm, I'm going a little more side to side than it might look like. And yeah, that's basically me doing, I got to raise it, my arms up. Nice. Down, I got to, you have to squat a lot. Oh, wow. You have to squat you have to get down, that low. you have to reach up. Oh yeah, I have to get, for one thing, it was that's fucking me for a long time. As I'm saying squatting, you had to get down to the floor for one fucking oh, thing. Oh man. Oh, you have to swing your fucking hand so fast for this part. It's max oh, speed. I mean, you can't even see him as coming. As hard as you can. Can you see oh, it you coming? Have to, you have to look ahead, yeah. See, you can kind of see it coming from a little distance. You have to look at where it comes from, or you'll never hit well, it in What time. I'm saying is, when you're looking far to the left, are you able yeah, to see a little bit in your peripheral vision, the, like what's in the center? Not very much. You have to turn your head. Oh, wow. Uh, it's got a little hint with arrows when it comes from one side. See, on the <laughs> left, the arrows lit up, then it goes to the Jesus. right. But That'd sometimes it does fast transitions, so you have to switch back really freaking fast. See, it's up, down, up, down, double, up, double, 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 double. Then this is the Whoa. right hand. You follow the snaking pattern, left, right, left hand coming up, switch to the left hand, snaking, double, double, then out, in, out, in, out, <laughs> follow with the left. What's those square ones mean, the, the triangles? Right. The triangle means you got to hit it with both hands. Oh. Then you follow. Was there a square yeah. one? What's the square? I thought I saw a square before. Uh, tell me again. I'm not sure what that is. It was like in the beginning of a line. It looked like a square. Right there. That green one had it. Oh, it's just a little marker to show that it's starting uh, oh, the okay. trail. Yeah. 
See, double, up, down, up, down. This is like squats, fast squats. Wow. <laughs> and then, uh, like, left to right swings. These are fast fucking swings right here. Are, are people creating their own songs and layouts for this thing, too? Uh, I haven't messed around with that yet, but yeah. Oh, okay. I, don't, uh, I haven't even tried it, but there is a custom uh, song That thing. sounds fun to make your own songs and your own layouts. I bet it is. I wouldn't know where to start. I've seen this. I came across this randomly on the internet. That's why I was a little familiar with it. I feel like I'm in the Matrix. Cool. Time. I have never seen it. <laughs> these, are, these are crazy movements right here that I'm doing. That's far back. <laughs> That's a full, full, full extensions on both arms. Jeez. <laughs> oh, this is, that far that fucked me up so many crazy. times on this song. So I finally got perfect on this. I don't get it this run, I don't think, but I had to do this song about... Shit. See, that was an X, I missed one. Yeah. Uh, I had to do this song about, I don't know, yeah, 30, 40 times to get Whoa. a perfect run. Well, at least you get a workout. In the ass, man. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, it's a great workout. My uh, my glasses will fog up. <laughs> I have to wipe the sweat off my face in between runs. Makes and sense. Like, just like take a quick cool off, wipe the sweat off, and clean cool. up the face plate. What other types of games are on here? Uh, you got the like type that are more just visually like amazing. Yeah, uh, not any on my YouTube channel, but there are a lot of visually amazing games. Very cool. Crisscross, fake out type. Yeah, you game. know, shooters, more immersive ones. Oh, like uh, the first person shooters? Oh, yeah. Transition. I never thought about People playing them on here. But yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, Is it's really call, immersive. Did they make Call of Duty yet for it? Crazy. Uh, no, nah, there's no, I don't think, uh, they got something similar called Contractors. That's like the Call of Duty of VR. No, you, good accuracy there, 99.6. Yeah, uh, you gotta get 100, though. The center of the you see, I, uh, we'll see the right. Jeez, yeah. Uh, I might you, cut off, you know, show the leaderboard. I don't know exactly, you know, but you it's... Pause it, oh. In the, in the very beginning, there was the leaderboard. It got cut off. It shows it on, you, um, you can watch the it beginning the... of the next one, I think. All right, and, I, and now you missed it, yeah. It was the so that, beginning of the yeah. first one. It showed it. Yeah, I started after another run. I think that was why. So I started... I was already tired when I started this. So, like, I got... Uh, it was into, like, over an hour and a half into my daily workout. Like, uh, I cool. do squats, uh, weights, uh, hanging from a pull-up bar... Um, and either like chest presses, curls, and I switched to this, and um, that's pretty much uh, what I got to do. So uh, that's yeah, what I do. We had uh, the first snowfall of the year over here. That's my workout. <laughs> I also clear off a uh, boat, uh, get all the snow off of the boat here, do multiple driveways. I do. That's my big workout: using the snow blower and de icing, all that kind of stuff. So. Let me uh, stop sharing the, the, this screen. Uh, that killed it, right? Yeah, I just uh, we're back side by side, regular as like the same as we started it. Sounds good. I just want to show one thing to follow up on that is because um, yesterday I did get a uh, hundred percent on that song, and I did get number one. Huh, cool. Uh, so how I, was, many, I took a screenshot. Did they say how that. many people are playing that game? Um, like, I don't like, think it's super popular right now. Probably many thousands. It came probably. out. Probably. Uh, when it, it came out several years ago, and there's a, quite a lot of people on the leaderboards. I think if I show the picture, uh, we'll be able to see. Um, I think it's in... Oh shit! Is it in? Uh, it's not on this computer because it saves it locally to the other ah. computer, and I haven't uh, shared it on my network yet. Um, so I, I guess I don't have it here. Nah, um, no worries. What were you just gonna but, show? Yeah, you got first place. Uh, just the leaderboard that I got first place. Yeah, cool. And it just shows how many people are on there and everything. So cool. uh, yeah, it's a good motivation. I love it. Uh, uh, do you have any other there are, plans? There, there are some hackers who they just make they it's obvious because they got scores that are way off of what you could conceivably get and they just end up in number one but you know <laughs> you don't count them they just take up space so it sucks for number 10 you know number nine because they got fucked but you, you uh, put any more thoughts there's a couple of cheaters uh you put any more thought into making more stuff for your youtube 
like you any more tech stuff uh, going a different I direction? I have. I thought about it. I thought about with the new Twitter um, uh, takeover, uh, going to Elon and the new verification stuff. I was thinking about um, starting a new channel and getting verified on Twitter. And uh, oh, oh, there's kind of like a spend it. I thought that was uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's suspended already now. Huh? Uh, we'll see if they bring it back. I had that before they suspended it. That thought. Oh, but, I uh, see. Because those verified uh, people will get like higher up on results. I don't tweet that much, anyways. I more like to use it as an information. Did tool. you hear about the big disaster that uh, happened with the pharmaceutical company? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I forget what they're called, but yeah, you know, I'll just say it real quick. Uh, somebody made a fake verified account who reacted like he was an official of the company, and then he was tweeting out how they're going to give away insulin for free, and then it caused a panic, and then their stock crashed. They lost like a crazy amount of money. And then uh, <laughs> that was a part of the reason why they probably stopped the uh, verification uh, thing on Twitter. Oh, yeah. A ton of, there's a ton of stuff. It was them. You had uh, someone pretended to be, um, was it Mickey Mouse? Disney? No, it was Mario. Pre- pretended to be Nintendo of America. <laughs> and his, the avatar was Mario giving everyone the finger. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he just saying really trolly shit. Um, you had a bunch of it going on. You had some pretty funny, obvi- honestly, parody accounts. Like, it was a rare golden opportunity for comedy. Like, yeah. I hope someone saved all those things. They put, like, a compilation together because uh, you had some great, like, parody troll type stuff going on, especially to a lot of these assholes like that company and people who kind of do deserve to uh, <laughs> to, uh, to get the shit taken out of them a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, there was some funny stuff. But oh, what? So, what kind of content were you thinking of making for your uh, channel? Switching it up? Oh yeah, um, yeah. Um, I might do um, like uh, a couple more tech reviews because I have a couple more things around now that I could add. So I could. Uh, I do have some stuff around that would do a decent nice. amount of videos. I got the VR stuff. I got um. I got an antique stereo that I'm going to take out and clean up that I'm actually going to sell. So I could also do a video on that. Um, nice. It's like a very rare, um, um, high quality, um, like t- top of the line stereo from the 70s. And the company, uh, you know, it was one of those big companies. It was Sharp, actually. Hmm. They were like uh, one of the biggest companies uh, for electronics in America for uh, yeah uh, some uh, years there from like eighties, the nineties. Yeah, they had TVs. You can get a Sharp TV. Um, those they, big uh, box came... ones. Remember those big box ones from the nineties with the yeah, speakers the CRT on the side? TVs. Yeah, yeah, those are cool. They had the big ones. They I grew like, up on those. Uh, something like nostalgic. I think they were like thirty something inches or forty inches. Was like the max size. That yeah. was big. That was like that was like a huge piece of furniture. Those are like the most nostalgic things ever. When you see one nowadays, and it's just like it brings me back to childhood. Just sitting right in front of that thing, feeling the little fuzziness on the speakers and next to it. Just. Uh, very fascinating technology so bulky and weird and it was uh i heard yeah. a few stories of people using magnets on it just because it was <laughs> the magnets, I mess with that. yeah that's what happened i think uh i heard a story where somebody broke the tv uh, one of them from a, a, yeah, a friend came could. over using a magnet on it <laughs> yeah uh, yeah, but uh, they, uh, yeah, so people like that for nostalgia's sake. Um, there's some practical usage, but it's more like, yeah, just uh, it's kind of a flex, like mm-hmm. stuff you like, and that you could still get that stuff and have it in good condition, even though it's been like 20, 30 years before it's since it's been produced. So it takes some effort to get some of that stuff that's still working well. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's like. Uh, that was their top of the line. They only made stereos for a little while. It's like all silvery. It's like aviator type thing. Um, cool. And um, yeah, no. Uh, that, maybe some Tesla, maybe a Tesla channel again. Oh, yeah. Uh, I still do want to start a Tesla channel. How are you feeling um, about the stock price now? It seems like only a matter of time before it starts going up a good amount. 
Yes, I think so too. I think it's uh, like overreaction right now to a lot of this Twitter Elon stuff. Recession too, pretty much. And recession coming up, but uh, Tesla's going to do the best, uh, be one of the top companies in the recession. Out of um, all the other um, quickly growing companies, um, I mean, there is really, there really is no big company that's growing as fast as Tesla. That's what's really unique about Tesla. All the other companies. uh, they're like 10% a year, you know, if you're lucky. Yeah, Tesla's yeah. 50%. And once a year. you're huge already, it's hard to grow at a fast rate like that if you're already huge. Yeah. Just like how countries and the GDP slow down once you hit a certain size, because then it's just yeah. so much harder to get. A Tesla, Tesla has the product lineup that uh, gives them the possibility to do that. They got a long way to go with, um, with all the cars are going electric. Now it's obvious that's going to happen. Um, everyone's scrambling to uh, try to be able to put out a decent model for a decent cost. And uh, it's not as they're just behind. They can't do uh, the same for the same amount of money. And uh, you're only at like, uh, what are we at? Less than 10% of global auto sales for sure are, mm. are electric vehicles now. So uh, we got a long way to go. Uh, they're already... Um, they uh, were just recently the best-selling models out of any car in California. Cool. Um, beat out Toyotas, everything, F-150s, <laughs> Camrys, Corollas, the cheap cars, the cheap, reliable cars. Yeah, they, I was hearing some other good stuff, too. I just don't remember what it was. <laughs> yeah. They uh, In Europe, uh, they're very popular. In China, they're very popular. Um, just globally, basically. And um, so they've got a lot more to go with their Model Y and uh, Model 3. Um, they, we've got the um, the R- IRA Act coming in next year for America, which is going to make it cheaper. Uh, 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 $7,500 $7, tax credit. Oh, for buying any electric vehicle? Yes. Oh, good. And it will apply to Teslas again. Tesla then uh, ran out of that a long time ago. So oh, they're going to cool. have that back. Not only that, they're going to be paid for making batteries, which they're doing. So uh, they're going to be nice. It's like, it's like gasoline on the fire. That is Tesla. <laughs> they're just going to be turbo fucking oh, speed we, rocket blasting we uh, to uh, expansion. We didn't talk about the Optimus once they did that basic reveal thing. Like I didn't realize how short of a time period uh, they were working on Optimus before they actually like had him walking. They said that on stage that time was the first time they ever had him without the tether because uh, they had a tether like guiding him and holding him up in case he would trip and fall. But, well, yeah, they brought him up on stage, and I think he said, what did he say? It was like six months' worth worth of uh, effort to make that Optimus uh, basic thing. But the artificial intelligence exactly. went, uh, the the AI was being built for years, and then they were able to tweak it a little bit all, uh, for that. But, I mean, that was just a demonstration yeah. just to get the What's good engineers and good employees to make exactly. it get even better, faster. I mean, that thing is going to be, the, like, if they get perfected, it's the by far the best thing about Game Tesla. changer. Game yeah. changer. Changes everything. That's, uh, the whole world. that's the sci-fi movies oh. come to reality. Like my, my friends who run the campsite in uh, Michigan, uh, Scott, I believe, yeah, you know him. You, uh, Scott, uh, we went to Arizona, He's him and his bell. family. Yeah, okay, we went, yeah, yeah at a tequila taste testing night. <laughs> and we went to mm-hmm. that hotel. Yeah, mm-hmm. good night. Yeah, uh, they were saying how having employees is like the worst annoying thing about like trying to run a business because. You know, you'll have people just bailing out on you, saying one thing, and when you're relying on them and you need them, then they bail out on you. When you like, you're losing a lot of time, effort, yeah. uh, money. You have to. Ugh, it's just a complete nightmare. And then you, next thing you know, after you think somebody's stable, they leave. Then next thing you know, you got to try to find another person and get screwed with all these other horrible workers again. Like this Optimus bot, it'll be reliable it every single day. On the other side, you have a lot of people who do a good job and they're taken advantage of and they could be paid more, but their employer just wants to pay them the bare minimum because they want to keep as much money as possible for themselves. And they'd rather complain uh, about, uh, you know, it's all the employees and the workers' faults than, uh, you know, it's not my fault. It's not that I'm not uh, doing enough. There is a lot of overpaid people. There's both sides to it. 
Yeah, like uh, like Tim Pool always talks about how you got all these tabloid writers who they're getting paid big money just to write about Brad Pitt's junk, <laughs> stuff like that. That was the joke. It's a job said. for almost everything. Yeah. So, and then yeah, there's just a lot of like entitled people, like people who just like are in position like like all those twitter employees that elon's been firing like they were writing an open letter demanding not to be fired like know your role <laughs> elon's the ceo you're the, gonna be taking an opinions that screw him over why would he want to keep you around so yeah they found out yep yeah that wasn't i mean you know they don't know elon obviously and most places uh whether um um you're um unless you really hate your boss and you're not uh, planning to stay there and you're just like this is finally my one my one chance to speak my bit you know and then i'm out you know you should expect that uh, you won't get away with uh trashing your boss publicly yeah makes sense <laughs> oh, Elon you know, made a funny. Did you, a little control over the company. You really think he's gonna say, uh, you know? Oh did you yeah. See that uh, tweet today, that, or I don't know if he did it yesterday or today. I just seen it today, uh, where he said, oh, "I welcomed back these two employees, Ligma and Johnson." Like that's that joke is going on. Lick my Johnson, basically Ligma Johnson, and then he shows him with two people, and then their name tags don't even say Ligma and Johnson on them. So it was just, <laughs> I wish they had said that on the name tags. It would make more sense. But uh, yeah, it just shows him with the two people. It was a pretty hilarious joke. Everybody's oh, laughing. You have to see it. You have to see it. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so uh, what do you think? Uh, wrap it up. It's about it. Yeah, it seems about good timing. Uh, I'm gonna I always do more another time. Oh yeah, like <clears throat> another time. Do more. Like as as more events uh, happen that interest us both, we could always pop on and cover them. And uh, oh, you know what started my workout kick? You have one of these uh, bit, bit. Uh, one of these watches that sync up. This no. is actually a really old uh, Samsung G2, the Gear 2. It's called. This is a nice one though. It's got like a a rotating. Um, cool. It rotates. It's uh, backwards for you, right? I yeah, I can see it. Else. Is that oh, okay. right? Side yeah, yeah. Clear. So this has. Uh, let me go to the. Pretty cool. Does it sense your like heart rate and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one of the cool things. So steps is huge. Tracks your steps. Um, and uh, you know, I'm in the house a lot, so like I don't have my phone in my pocket all the time. You know, this thing will actually track your steps, even if you're just like working out around the house, which I do a lot. Um, the temperature uh, is nice to have. Um, uh, yeah, steps, tracks, your heart rate. Uh, so this is like, uh, I heard some people have found out they have health conditions from this because they're like, uh, whoa, you're, you're just sitting there and your heart rate's high. That means something's wrong. Go to the go to the hospital. Yeah, uh, find out they have like a you know a heart problem. So yeah, that's happened. That's helpful. Um, this is nice. Uh, shows the sunset and sunrise time every day. Ah, cool. Uh, for your city. Oh, uh, don't have to worry about when the sun's going down. For you know, exercise purposes, I guess. That way. Yeah, uh, hiking. I used that the other day because oh, I went to a new hiking trail. And um, it was a lot further than I, I anticipated. I wish I had gone there a long time ago because it's basically like Camelback, but it's much closer. Is, uh, is it the one I went to over there? private one. Uh, there was one Did you go to sunrise peak uh i don't remember the of, name uh, uh that it was it's kind of that it's um, pretty close to you though like uh, yeah you probably did and then once it's, you once you go in like there two miles long it takes a couple hours to uh that might be the one because then once you do. enter that area you have to go down that road for a very long time and then there was like a yep. picnic table area it's but the all parking kind lot. of nice houses more private yeah more spread i think so out. Then you pull into a parking lot, and you basically are just walking into these mountains that are like yeah. in the back of people's homes, and then it just goes just mountains. That was one of the last places I discovered before leaving Arizona, but I miss Arizona. Oh, speaking uh, of that. I wish you told me about that. You did, but it was like I forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, I got pictures. I just tried it recently, and, uh, you know, yeah, it's great. I'm going to be uh, putting that in like once a week. 
That is fun too. It's beautiful sights. Uh, you go up on top of the mountain too, and then you got like some trees and cacti and shrubs up there. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to the very top. Uh, I was going to say, uh, about I was with the, my someone else, and they were tired. I was going to say, uh, what about this Arizona water crisis? Because the Colorado is not able to send the water down to Arizona as much now because they're needing it more as Colorado has expanded so much. So I was talking with my friends. I was thinking. Like, where's this getting fed? Where's this river getting fed in the Colorado area? I can area? tell you that I would rather live in Colorado than in Arizona. Huh. For multiple reasons, but it's also be a lot nicer to be at the source of the water. But, like, see, I'm trying to imagine where the source of the water is. Is it all just from rain coming from the sky and it accumulates somewhere? Yes, no. Or is it... Or is it coming from it's further north from any, Canada? It's how any river is formed. All rivers are basically snow melting from mountains and running across the land. So is it coming from Canada? I was never looked at the... Uh, coming where? from Colorado. That's why it's called the Colorado River. It comes from the Colorado Rockies. Oh, they so got big, it never... Big, they got a lot of big mountains in Colorado. Okay, so it, it doesn't go further north from Colorado? Okay. No, they're the I source. See. And... Uh, they uh they've been getting less snow and uh that's less water Jeez. and uh people are using more water more people are moving here How, what are using they gonna it for do? more industry don't they have like 10 10 years of water left in arizona that i heard it's that's messed up i love arizona so much i, I hope they can find a good solution i think uh i think uh they'll probably be okay if they kick out more agriculture food prices will go up unless uh they new technology comes in they do all this like indoor growing stuff maybe that'll save the day you know, shut down those even golf the, courses i guess in arizona not even the biggest most of it is agriculture it's uh people that grow stuff out here and they just spray water because the water is actually very cheap that's the government's fault the state government's fault made the water way too cheap for how rare it is well, so they I use see. the shit out of it I wonder if there's a way to like divert some the water business. source. They want the farmers and they want the business, but uh, we did, we don't got the water to spare for that shit. Yeah, it's crazy now because like it's like it sounds like there's no solution. But I'm just trying to find uh, like in my mind. It is. Like you has kick to out be. the farmers and you have less and you have much more efficient farming mm. with like vertical farming indoors. You got to have direct. They just got open fields out here where they just spray water and it evaporates like crazy. What are they grow? What are they, like, kinds of shit. There's one that got a lot of attention that uh, pissed me off and a lot of other people off is that uh, we're growing the most water intensive crop there is, which is alfalfa, which is used to feed horses. And it's being sent to feed horses for in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> That's so horrible. Yeah, you got to... Right. They steal water from America. our desert to grow shit that won't grow in theirs to ship it halfway across the fucking world to their desert. Damn, resources got problems. I, I wonder if we could divert some great lakes. Something's wrong. Something's wrong if it's cheaper for them to get water from our desert and have it shipped halfway around the world to them. You know, <laughs> they're doing yeah. it because they're paying almost nothing. They rent a huge plot of land from the government. That's like, uh, it's basically free. And uh, they don't get charged on the water at all. They get to pump unlimited amounts of groundwater. Mm. That means it's not reg it's not monitored. It's not regulated. They could, as far as they could drill, and now they could drill pretty fucking deep because of uh, new technology. Hundreds of feet deep, suddenly everyone else has wells because there are people whose houses depend on wells for water. Suddenly your well's dry because your yeah. well only went to 100 feet. And that was fine before, but the groundwater is a limited uh, amount of water. So terrible. they can dig 100 feet deeper than you. Suddenly you have no water. You have to go buy bottled water. You've got to shower <laughs> with bottled water. <laughs> man. I, you know, Lux, man. they do have those uh, energy, uh, I mean, the uh, water like devices. They're like similar to like regular water tanks you'd see in like office buildings for the employees. But it actually pulls water, generates it from the atmosphere. And it even generates a decent amount, even from the humidity in the air in Arizona. That would help uh, to a certain degree, at least. I wonder like how much it bit. could help. It takes electricity. Yeah. It, it doesn't produce as much as more humid areas uh, as well. For sure. I wonder if there's a way to, like, do some kind of uh, 
Southwest rescue plan using Great Lakes water and make some giant river. <laughs> will never work. The uh, will never work because um, we don't have a way to move stuff that is not um, allowed by gravity for free. So unless you're able to build a pipe that is downhill at all points from you know the Great Lakes to the yeah. Southwest, that won't work because uh, you just can't. The you need massive pumps. It wouldn't, it's not. Yeah. Uh, if but, you look in the engineering of it, it's not rivers. a possibility. There's other That's rivers the, too in the way. There's tons of issues. Uh, it's it's a pipe dream. Jeez, yeah, water is tougher. <laughs> Even, uh, and you know, the Mississippi, uh, there's been stories about uh, that parts of that have been so low that they can't get ships through there that they use for transport. And the no. Mississippi is uh, the busiest transport um, lane uh, kind of uh, in the United States. Uh, I just saw it's it. Done for extremely cheap. Uh, you think about it. Uh, otherwise, what do you got to use? You got to use a train, you got to use a truck. The water carries your shit for free. Yeah, it's you just float cool. it on a boat. It's uh, it was so it's a hundred times cheaper than putting something on a truck. So the fact that it dries up, big problems. I just saw it. Like we crossed it going to Iowa. It was actually really cool. Like uh, it was wider than I remembered. Like you go over a very large bridge. I got some cool pictures and stuff too. So. Yeah, it's amazing that those are even considered to be rivers. They're like so wide. Like, <laughs> man, crazy. Big deal. Big deal for the U.S. really helped out throughout yeah, all of history, lucky. basically. That's why the U.S. is still pretty much the most dominant country in the world since World War One, when the British pretty much gave like a crap ton of their wealth to us in order for us to keep supporting their war effort. And we got rich <laughs> and kept running with it ever since. So, but... All right. Well, got anything else you want to say? I'm getting a little tired. Might as well call it. Yeah, that's that's about it. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to hang out, if you guys are interested in NFTs, you can uh, join us over at the uh, Titan NFT group. I own one of them. Uh, this is not a paid advertisement. It's just cool people. We hang out. There's a little party every night. And free giveaways, too, for anyone who attends, too. So, yeah, I'm going to put the uh, images here So if but as I'm talking about it. And uh, <clears throat> so, good chatting with you. I'm sure we'll do another one of these soon. And uh, Momentum Mori, live it up. All right, peace out, guys. Good night.